Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been um, some time now since I have uploaded a video. The last video that I posted was the birth vlog of our Evelyn Adair. She is right here with me. Say hi. Say hi. No, not having it. <laughs> um, but yeah, the last video that I posted was her birth vlog and I wanted to get her nursery tour up weeks before she made her arrival. But there were several items that I was waiting on to be delivered so that I could get her room fully decorated and a few of them um, just took much longer than expected and one of them being this chair. Um, one second, I need to readjust her. And there's still a few things um, like on her bookshelf and stuff that I want to add and I, there's like picture frames and stuff like that which I'm going to show you guys that I want to hang but I'm just like still in the process of picking out pictures and things like that but um, but if you haven't watched my birth vlog she was born November 20th and we actually um, came home the day after she was born they let us leave pretty early which was nice so we were home for Thanksgiving and we've just been getting adjusted to having a newborn and a toddler and it's a little stressful at times but so far it's been good but I do know that this is like the easy phase. They just sleep so much and they just want to be cuddled and they don't constantly tell you no and get into every little thing that they could possibly get into and it's just a completely different world from having a, a toddler. So what's the matter baby? She's tired and she's like fighting sleep, I think. All right. Shh, 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 shh. Um, but yeah, we've just been getting adjusted and loving life as a family of four. So I'm sorry that it's taken me a while to get this uploaded. I know a few people who were waiting on seeing it. Um, but let's get started, guys, and I hope you like it. Okay, so first, when you come down our hallway, this is what it looks like walking into her room. We have her crib over here. So I'm just gonna go through and tell you guys where I got things. Um, if you are interested, I will try to link as much as I can below. I did get a lot of things off of Amazon because it's my absolute favorite. But um, there's also some stuff from like Target and things like that. So first, I'll just start with the crib. Um, got this and her changing table slash dresser from Target. I really wanted like that rustic um, look for her room with a light pink and this just turned out perfect. I could not be happier with this. So got this from Target. We really wanted a lighter pink. Um, like a very light like ballet pink and this came out a little bit darker but now I'm just absolutely obsessed with it I think it's perfect but at first I was like I don't know about this but I love it now but anyway back to the crib this adorable pillow um, that my sister-in-law got her from Amazon it's one of the what do they call it? like the mermaid pillows or of course one hand this is kind of hard right now but yeah you, you get it that's so cute with her name on it. I love it. Um, this crib sheet, I believe, is from Amazon. I could be wrong. Um, I, I, I have to double check where I got it from. My sister-in-law's mother actually bought it for us off of the registry. And it's so pretty. I love it. So, got that. Then over here, I got this basket from Target. And I'm just using it for her blankets right now. Um, most of them are swaddle blankets and I do have two thicker blankets out in the living room and our bedroom for her. But this is just perfect for blankets and I actually ordered another one today because she needs like some thicker ones. Like the swaddles are great but um, I just like her to be like really warm and, and wrapped up and those are just a little thin so... We have her name sign up here. Um, when I saw this company, I was instantly in love with them. They make the prettiest signs. And the woman that I was um, communicating with was absolutely amazing and just so 
helpful and responded right away. And the company's called Wood Smith Company, Wood Smith Sign Company. Um, and they're just absolutely great. So I will link them down below. You guys should definitely go and check them out if that's something that you're interested in. But it just came out perfect. It's so beautiful and I love it. So we have that right above her crib. Then over here, I got these night lights from Amazon. They're so pretty when they're lit up and they're actually very bright. Um, when she is sleeping in here, I probably will not have that on just because it is way brighter than I thought it was going to be. But it's super pretty um, and it's glass. So, but yeah, I love that. So it was a two pack from Amazon. Then I just have her hamper over here which i got from crate and barrel i wish it wasn't so wrinkly um i'm sure i could do something about that but we're not in here that often because right now she's in our room so i will deal with that down the road but got that then her changing table i have this on here but hasn't really been used i got this changing pad cover from pottery barn and it is like the softest changing pad cover ever so I love it, but this, and then just didn't really know what to do with this extra space, so I figured probably just easier to put the diapers and wipes up here. Um, I've only changed like two diapers in here so far because we have a portable changing table in our bedroom for her, um, but it is nice just to be able to grab those. So, so like I said, her dresser is from Target as well and then I went on this came with black knobs so I went on Hobby Lobby and found these um, they're just like a rustic pink knob and it, again it just works perfectly in here at first it's so hard to tell when you're ordering stuff online like if it's gonna match but I really think everything matches very well in here so far so up here I just have like her diapers, um, some lotion and body wash. These are like the reusable changing pad, you know, covers. And these are the munchkin ones. I love these. Um, but I got that in there. And then just like her brushes. This, I love this set. It's so soft. Don't mind my nails. I need to get them done. They already chipped. <laughs> But yeah, it's really nice. So I have just like that stuff in here, like for bath time, diaper cream, diaper cream, little brush thingy, all that. And then more diapers. Over here, obviously socks. These are washcloths. Over here we have her hats, which are so cute. Um, there's her little hospital one. Oh my God. Um, but so some hats and mittens, which she has not worn yet. She, I know I'm going to jinx myself, but she has not scratched her face at all. So I just haven't put those on her. Um, but in here we have bibs, mainly bandana bibs. And then I bought like some of these Burt's Bees ones. And they're really cute, but got that. And then in here is just another changing pad cover. Mm. Okay, so this, um, by the way, I got these drawer dividers from Ikea. They're super cheap and really make it much more organized instead of like the clothes, like when they get piled up, instead of like falling over when they get too high. Um, so I love them. So I will try to, or I'll just put that link below as well. But this is all newborn, so I didn't label it like I did on the drawer below, as you'll see next. But these are all just newborn clothes, PJs, onesies. Um, she doesn't really have a lot of newborn clothes and she was seven pounds, four ounces, so she needed more. Um, my mom actually just left yesterday to go back to New York, but we did some shopping when she was here to get some more newborn clothes for her because she didn't have like any. And um, she was way, she's way too small for zero to three months, so 
over here, leggings, um, like I said, onesies and PJs, and then I just put this in here. It's the Boppy cover that came with the Boppy, but I got a different one. There's that. And then down here, I labeled it, um, not that it's that hard to just go and look at, you know, like look in and see what size it is, but um, I just wanted it to be easy to know zero to three and then three months. So these are all zero to three PJs, onesies, and then over here we go into the three month onesies and PJs and leggings. And then these are her bath towels right there. So yeah. I needed that to be super organized because I'm OCD and it would drive me nuts if like her clothes were all over the place. So I'm very happy with that. Then above her changing table, got these pictures with the flamingo head. All of that is from Amazon. Um, we had a hard time hanging this flamingo head. We had to actually buy a different piece for it, which you can see back here. It's like the command ones because because what came with it was just an absolute joke of trying to hang it. Um, that's my only complaint with that is there was just no way that that, it came with like this little piece and it was the oddest shaped piece of like hardware I've ever seen. I don't know how you even could hang the flamingo head with that, but that was my only complaint, but I do love it. I think it's super cute and pretty um, and it matches really well, so. That, like I said, this is all from Amazon, and I just thought that these were beautiful. All right, and then over here, this is from Target as well. I can't remember which one is which, but we got this. I'm still, like, I'm very picky with, like, decorations, and I didn't want to just go and buy a bunch of things and throw it on here. Um, so I'm still working on this and just figuring out where I want things to go, but um, this came from my baby shower. My sister-in-law got it, so I just have that on there, and then some books that I got at the baby shower. This is from Hobby Lobby. This is from Hobby Lobby. Um, her little flamingo is from Target. And then up here we have her flamingo lamp, which is also from Target. And then these, um, this is from Amazon. And then these two things right here are from Hobby Lobby. Above that I have her mirror, also from Hobby Lobby. Um, this I just think works perfectly in here. When my husband first saw it, he did not like it. He did not think it would go well in here. And as soon as he hung it up, he fell in love with it too. So we have that kind of silly to have a mirror up that high because you can't even see your face, but it's really just for decoration, obviously. Then her bows, which is like my favorite thing ever. I got this off of Amazon and then got a can of, um, I think it said like rose gold or rose champagne, something like that. Um, spray paint and my father-in-law did this for me because the fumes were absolutely insane and I should not be doing that when I was pregnant so thank you father-in-law he did this for me and then I just have her bows on there and then over here I got this from Amazon as well I was just looking for another piece of decoration to put in here and saw this and thought it was absolutely adorable um, Will we actually use it? Maybe, I'm not sure, but for right now it's just really cute decoration. Then for the closet, so anyone that has seen her room is asking us where these are from. These are from Ikea. Um, all you have to search for online is PAX, PAX Systems Ikea Closets and these will come up. So. They have a bunch of different ones to pick from and then you can go on and customize each of them. So that's exactly what I did with these. So this side, I just have obviously her diapers um, that we, you know, some family members have bought and then from the shower. And then over here have all of her wipes lined up. And this drawer is just a bunch of like random things, extra binkies, one of her pacifier clips, I have another one um, in our room. The My mother-in-law got her these, how cute are these? I cannot stand it, I can't wait for her to wear those. 
and then some teethers, things like that. So nothing crazy, but just some like random stuff. And then down here, same thing. Um, I do have like a picture, like this really pretty picture frame set that I want to hang up in here. I'm just obviously getting some pictures together that I really like and then I'll get them printed. It's like a toy. Um, this is what we use to announce her birth. And then I have another picture frame. It's a pretty big one there. And I'm going to keep this and do her monthly like pictures, I think, with that. So, yeah, that's just some more random stuff up there. Then, like I said, this chair. Um, but we got that from Amazon. And then this was also on my registry. And my sister-in-law didn't know that. And she bought it and had it at my baby shower. And that's just perfect. It goes so well together. So there's that. Then I got the curtains from Target. They're blackout curtains. And then got that little rug from Target. For the rug, I've also gotten so many compliments on this rug. Um, this rug is absolutely gorgeous to me. I'm so in love with it. The second I saw it, I was like, husband, we need to buy this. It was a little pricey, especially for the size. Um, we did think it would look a little bigger in here, but whatever, it works and it's beautiful, so I'm happy with it. But this I got from Wayfair. It was on sale. Um, the next size up, because we thought about possibly returning it, was like almost $400. So this size, I believe, was like $250. Um, so we did not want to pay more because that's just crazy. It looks perfect in here and like I said, it's beautiful and we didn't need one that was bigger. So that's from Wayfair. Then onto this closet. Here are her clothes. Um, it's funny, I've watched like a lot of nursery tours before Evelyn was born and the closets are just stacked and stacked and stacked with clothes. She doesn't have that many yet. Um, it's just, I don't know, she just doesn't have a, a ton right now. I know she's going to have a ton more, but for right now her closet's looking pretty empty. But I just have them divided. I got these from Amazon as well. They're all like flamingo themed um, dividers. And just have like her newborn, then zero to three, three to six, six to nine, and obviously more up there for when she's bigger. Plenty of hangers. And then um, these are all clothes that do not fit her yet. So she does have a decent amount of clothes for when she's bigger. So that's good. But I have those in there. And then again, just like random stuff. Um, some like stuffed animals back here, but she does obviously she's like super young for those for right now Got some shoes And then like paperwork from the hospital and some more that's going to be her white noise machine. There's the other nightlight and There's two boxes of diapers down there as well. And then again her bath thing my pump and the um, Ergo baby carrier back there. So plenty of space in these. I highly recommend these closets. If you guys are looking to redo your closets, they, they're perfect and they were not that expensive either. So thank you so much to my husband who busted his, you know what, to hang all of this stuff and get everything ready for me and my father-in-law. They worked so hard to make like my vision come true in here and they did a great job and I'm just, I'm just so happy with it and I just think it's a beautiful room and couldn't ask for anything more. So that is pretty much it for the nursery tour guys. I mean I do hope that you guys liked it. I'm sorry that it's taken me forever to get this up um, but I'm sure if you have a newborn at home and especially a toddler on top of that you understand that it's a little hectic at first but I am going to start um, vlogging more and just do like day in the life with a toddler and a newborn and videos like that so you guys can see like our routine and how we've um, how we've adjusted to having two two little ones now so thank you so much for watching guys give this video a thumbs up if you liked it leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you next time bye